Well, there's a funny looking sled there today. James and I, we just took the skis off it. You know why? Because James says, being such such lightweight, it's really hard to turn that skidoo is sometimes. Actually, this massive ski was not a skidoo. So, as you can see, it's a center mount motor rather than a front mount. Or front mount. That means that there's less weight on the ski legs at the front. So we're going to have to take the skis and we're going to do a little weld build up along there. We're not going to have carbides for it, but it'll be similar to that. So let's go in the shop and see what we can do here. There's the skis. Just got to take a look at what we got in the bottom there and we'll go from there. Well, there's the skis we got right there. As you can see, the one tail end of the, the rod is out of the back there, but we can fix that. We can just bring it over there. We'll try to tuck it in. If not, we can tack it down there. And all I'm going to do, if you look at from this edge right here, you're going to see there's really just nothing more than a piece of cold roll or hot rolled steel right there. It's worn down a little bit. But we don't want to build up an edge along the whole thing. We just build up a little bit on either side of the ski leg there where that comes down. So there's a center. We want to build a little bit right on there and a little bit on the other side. So there's a center right there. I'm going to say we put a little bit on right along here and a little bit on right along there on both skis. That is probably going to give us considerably better steering. This will be the test and we'll get this thing in order we'll put a little weld bead down it we're going to have to run a cold weld down it and a little bit of hard servicing rod and that should probably make it look pretty good hey here we are inside we got the welding done now you see this there's a pair of skis right there what i did is i used the 6013 rod in there really cold 60 amps that was a little bit higher it tacked that down but we got you see that's a little bit elevated up higher than it was right there so now, hopefully that's going to give a little bit of an edge for these skis to stick a little bit more in the snow. We could sharpen them down. I could actually put some hard servicing rod in there. But you know what? For this little slow speed machine, I don't think it'll make a lot of difference. This will probably do just as much help as anything. Eh? Here we are inside. So James, we let's got the go outside. done now. You see this? The There's a pair of skis right there. What I did is I used the 6013 rod in there. Really cold, 60 amps. That was a little bit higher. It tacked that down. But we got, you see that's a little bit elevated up higher than it was right there. So now, hopefully that's going to give a little bit of an edge for these skis to stick a little bit more in the snow. We could sharpen them down. I could actually put some hard servicing rod in there. But you know what? For this little slow speed machine, I don't think it'll make a lot of difference. This will probably do just as much help as anything, eh? So James, let's go outside and get those skis in the sled. Okay guys, we're back outside. Beautiful out today. Get the ski. So I just got to hold the ski up to the ski leg there. And hopefully I don't need a hammer because I didn't bring one out with me. Well, maybe I'm going to need a shed bushing in. There we go. Now, hopefully I'll be able to feel for a little hole in there. I can't see a darn thing in there. <laughs> it's not even all the way up. Nope. Well, there's a problem. I should have brought out a punch with me there. Is that lined up, James? Looks pretty, nope. Yep, there we go. There. Just need Junior to give us a little hand there. So I got that bolter there, and what I'll do is I'll put back on there. I got a nut over here. I'll put a, a washer on. And this isn't the way that I designed this. This is the way someone else did. And they had on there, not just one nut, but they used two nuts. One is a lock nut. So once again, I'm not sure this right. The bolt looked okay, it wasn't worn. So we'll get this nut starter back on there. I'll tighten it down in a few minutes. So I'll get a wrench out and snug it up. And I'll snug a lock nut up against it there to hold it in place there. There we go. Okay, I'll get the wrench out in a second. Let's get the other ski in place. I got the bolt right here. And I'm going to have the same problem on this side. I won't be able to see what the heck I'm doing. If I turn it that way a bit. How's that look, James? Perfect, I would say. It was pretty perfect. There. Okay, same thing on that side. Somebody had already, I would say Mickey Mouse is together, but it will work. I'll put on there a flat washer, a lock washer, and a set of two nuts. You know what? There. So, I'm going to do these bloody gloves. It's not even cold out today. So, I think 
got to tighten those up there. I don't want that up all the way tight there. We could probably take a little bit more there. The ski is still got a pivot there. There, so you see that there it still turns. Perfect. So what I'll do is I'll lock that down by using the two wrenches together. There, that way it's still loose, it'll still pivot. Look at that. Let's go to the other side. This is what I would call a pretty quick fix. Now, that goes on this way. Now, this old ratchet, look at that's a Herbrand. I remember buying this one here. Crazy, that was back in the 70s, eh? That's how old I am. I'm not just an old bugger, I'm a crusty old bugger. Okay. Okay, so I tighten that one down. And same trick again. We'll put the two nuts to two wrenches together and use the two to lock against each other. There. Okay, so we got that done there now. All I gotta do now is pull this block out of here. I'll use my uh, there we go. My spare parts, I don't throw anything away. I'm a pack rat. There's that. That now. What I gotta do now? Test it. I don't need gloves. I don't need wrenches. Key on, choke out. Uh oh. I shouldn't have to choke all the way. I don't think I need that much. Okay. This cord. We need to look at this cord. It takes so slow to go back in there. Okay, we'll let that warm up for a second. I think I will put gloves on. That's a massy ski whiz. We get the skis back on. I took it for a little drive down around the driveway and back. And you know what? It is tough to steer. That little bit of weld we put on there, whoo, it grabs good. But you know what? It's actually above zero right now. And it's fairly mild. So the snow is a bit sticky so and soft, so it's going to make a difference. But James is going to go right now. No helmet on. He should be having one, but you know, I told him it's okay. Take a little run around and see. Okay, James, you can be really stiff to turn, but you'll be able to turn a lot better. A bit more muscle. Look at him go. Where did that boy go? Ha ah, ah, ha, there he is. Beautiful. Oh, where'd he go? I hear him coming up the other side there. He's probably going to bring it right back around here. James, how was it? Any different? Yeah. It grabs pretty good now, doesn't it? Okay, so you know what we should do? I think we should get a helmet on. I'll get a helmet on, and I'll get my players warmed up. James, get ready. We'll go for a little ride and see how they work. Okay? Stay tuned. That'll grind it out a bit there. There we go. 